Hey you guys, so I had to get on here and tell you guys the cheese man because this is like so crazy. I think it's hilarious. Um, anyways, I call. I had to call up my best friend George and tell him about my my problems, my little <laughs> issue today. Um, so hi George. <laughs> um. No, but you guys, I don't even know where to start with this. This is something I don't even, oh my goodness. Okay, so put it like this. We're going to do girl talk, okay? Girl talk. Um, so, let's rewind. Hold up. Let me just tell you from the get-go. So, let's say about a month ago, I was chilling in my office, minding my own damn business, extremely happy because I had just wrote up a big-ass policy for a big-ass company, and that means a lot of cha-ching in my pocket, but we don't really get those, so when you do, it's like hitting the jackpot, you know what I mean? So, I'm over there, and I'm looking down, minding my own damn business. I happen to look up <laughs> and I see my ex from like 12 years ago. 12. 12. 1, 2, 12 years ago. And we both like, and I'm like, <laughs> you got it. I was like, what the fuck, right? And he was there with his uncle or something. So. I'm over here like, okay, I'm going to play it cool, like, you know, whatever. I'm not going to bring, you know, I'm not going to be like, hey, how you doing? No, I'm going to be, you know, professional. I'm like, hi, how are you doing? Can I help you? And the uncle was like, he didn't really recognize me. And he was all like, hi, you know, I came to, uh, you know, I want this and this. Can you give me a quote? And I said, sure, have a seat. And this fool's over here looking at me like, and I'm like, oh my goodness. And you know how you start getting all tingly and hot? Like, like you just, not because you're excited, because because you're nervous and you're like, ugh, that is somebody I don't want to see. And, and you know something's about to happen, you know? So I'm over here, minding my own damn business. I asked this man, hey, do you have this? He said, no. And he was like, I got to run to the car and get it. And I said, all right, that's fine. So he runs out to the car to get it. This fool stands up. Literally sits right next to, stands right next to my desk. Now. So how you been? I looked at this whole like what? Literally, this is what I what? How you been? I'm looking at him like who the hell are you? And then he was like, I was like good. <laughs> like you, you know, don't act like y'all guys would have been like hi. No. And do I have to tell you guys this was my first official long relationship? You know what I mean? The so-called love of your life. And I saw this fool looking at him like, Ugh, what the hell was I doing with you? And <laughs> you know, the one you were so in love with that you could not see anything else besides them. You know what I mean? And, um. So, I'm there and I'm like, okay. He was like, so, are you married? I was like, no. He was like, you got any kids? So I was like, nope. He's like, oh. Then this was busted out saying, oh, did I forget to mention he had his little girl with him? And this fool ended up saying, oh, look, this would have been your mama. What the hell? How the hell you telling a little three-year-old child, look, this could have been your mama? Anyways, so I'm sitting there just looking at him like, okay. He's like, so how's your parents? Da -da. Fool, it's not like you ever met him. I was, I was, I don't know, something about him. I just never really brought him around. They were just like, he was just the friend, but he wasn't like the boyfriend. You know what I mean? I didn't really label him around my family. But I was like, I guess I was in love. I don't know. And um, <clears throat> I'm like, good, uh, you know. And I told him, no, you know, I'm with Victor and so forth, yada, yada. And he was like, wow, you're still pretty. 
I'm like, okay, dude. He was like, hey, so how old are you? He's like, aren't you 27? Ain't your birthday August 10th? And I was like, damn, like, really? This is almost 13 years ago, and you still remembering all that? And then he busted out saying, oh, just the other day, we was thinking about you, like, oh, my mom was like, let me get my nails done. Oh, you're going to be like Jocelyn, always doing your nails. That's where Jocelyn came in. When I was that age, all my friends, all my friends, guys, girls, we all made up names. We didn't even know our own damn real name. When I met this fool, I told him my name was Jocelyn. Then I told him my name was Elena Jocelyn. Jocelyn, Elena, something like that. But Elena and Jocelyn were in the same mix. So his whole, whole family knew me as Jocelyn. <laughs> and I was like, what? I was like, this is haunting me almost 13 years later. Are you freaking serious? And I, <laughs> and I never told him, you know, he, that was just, and I was almost with him for two years. And I never told him that my name was not Jocelyn. So on top of that, I'm just looking at him like, okay. And he's all happy cheesing and stuff. Like, like if I was excited to see him because we were off at a real bad note. I guess, you know, when you were like so-called love, you wanted the best and he was, he was bad. He didn't finish school. I was trying to push him to go to school. At the time, I was a dental assistant and I was going to college and I was like barely turned 17. You know what I mean? And I was already doing all that. So, you know, I knew things weren't going to work out, but supposedly I was in love and you know, he did me so wrong. I mean, wrong, wrong, wrong. The girls that he used to hang around with were so, so skinny. And I would, let me remind you, I was not even big. I was probably a size 12, and I am 5'8. But to his friends, I was a fat ass bitch. So he wasn't going to bring me around. And I still remember this one thing that just cut it all off whenever uh, we went to a quinceanera. And some girl was all up on him, and I was like, Excuse me? He, he, she was like, who are you? I was like, his girlfriend? I had almost been with him for two years. He was like, oh, he never told me he had no girlfriend. <laughs> Talk about that's where it all cut down. I'm not saying I was an angel because my name is Jocelyn. <laughs> and, you know, he even to, to when it hit me was when his mama threw me a birthday party for my 18th birthday. And he didn't even show up. Can you believe that shit? He did not show up. He didn't work. His mama gave him some money. So he could buy me flowers for my graduation. And he went to go do I don't know what with it. Buy me some righty ass flowers. His mom was like, didn't you like your flowers? I said, what flowers? Your big old roses. What roses? I got some freaking dandelion looking things that look like they were dead. Anyway, so you can obviously tell. And, you know, his mom just told me to get out of it, you know, because it was no good. He was just like his father or whatever. And if somebody's mom is telling you that, you need to get out. So, you know, bah, bah. <laughs> and, you know, he still called around and he was still trying to holler. And, mm -mm, I ain't that dumb. And so let's skip all that. All right. So then he left, blah, blah, blah. Nice seeing you. Yada yada yada, and I was like, Yeah, okay, bye. You know, like, what the hell? And then I was like, I called all my friends, like, What the fuck? What is this happening? I was just laughing, and I couldn't believe it because uh, that was the last person I ever wanted to bump into, especially being Jocelyn, right? <laughs> and then, so check this out. Am I forgetting anything from about that day? He just remembered every single little detail about my birthdays and all this bullshit, you know. And when his, I wasn't trying, I wasn't creating a conversation. I was just like, yes, no question answers, in other words, you know. And then he said, you can still come around my house. He was like, my mama ain't mad at you. I looked at this. Bitch, why the hell would your mama be mad at me? You know, and he's supposedly married and still lives at home with his mom. And he's about 33, 34. Mm-mm. Anyways, other than that, <clears throat> I'm over here at, uh, you know, I felt like playing the lottery today, right? I just felt it. 
So I stop at this little convenience store by my house. Why the hell is somebody saying, Jocelyn, Jocelyn, let me remind you, my name is Elena. And some old white old ass lady with no teeth is just sitting back rocking, laughing like, Jocelyn, Jocelyn. <laughs> and, you know, nothing clicks in. So I'm over here pay paying everything. Jocelyn, I know you hear me. And I thought they was talking to the little old lady who was on top of the world because she was just like, with no teeth. <laughs> And then this little girl saying, Jocelyn, Jocelyn. I was like, okay. I get in my car. His car drives by. And he's like, hey, Jocelyn, I know you hear me. I looked over. I was like, oh, no, 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 no. The little girl's in the back seat of the car. In a snicker top. But hi, Jocelyn. What the hell, really? And he thinking he's cool because he's like in a, in a 300. Baby. Let me tell you one thing. That is not your car because the car he told me he was rolling in the other day was not that car. And he told me that was the only car he had, blah, blah, blah. So he's only trying to swag his little thing. Mm -mm, I really don't care what kind of car you drive, believe me. And he's like, hi, hi, Jocelyn, how are you? I'm looking at this fool like, really? You Did, did you really just do all that? I was just like, what the hell? But it never clicked in my head, you guys, that I am not Jocelyn. You know, it never clicked in. <laughs> like, what the hell? Oh, Jocelyn. Me, Jocelyn. Anyways, so then I called my homeboy up. I was like, George, what the hell happened? Why the hell is this shit following me after 12, 13 years? Oh, it was just tripping, but I hopefully do not want to run into him. And if I do, why is he so happy? I'm not happy to see him. Ain't nothing gonna happen between us. Hell no. Mm mm. Mm mm. He is so ugly. I can't even. Ugh. And I told Victor, and Victor was laughing. And I was like, oh no. He was like, he was like, he's probably trying to holler back at you. I was like, mm mm. Don't need it. Don't want it. Bye. So, I mean, has any shit like that ever happened to y'all? Let me know. And to all the Jocelyn's out there, hi.